the moment I heard, early in the morning, on that great getting up day, I was scrubbing laundry, ain't have no time to play. I was wet and sweating and working mighty hard when I heard a great commotion on the road just past the yard. I set aside my washing because the noise had got so loud, I scurried to the front gate. It was then I saw the crowd. A whooping and a jumping with hands up in the air. Was they going to a meeting? Was they going to a fair? I stopped old Mother Johnson. Yes, I grabbed her by the hand. She hugged me, then spun me around so fast I could not stand. She lifted me and brushed me off and shouted with such glee, Sister, ain't you heard the news? I'm joyful as can be. Back in January, Mr. Lincoln set us free. Well, here in Texas, we ain't know a thing about that decree. We heard nothing till today. General Granger brought the word, great good God almighty. What he said and what I heard, say black folks now is equal, not white folks property. Say black folks work for wages cause black folks now is free. I caught my breath. My legs give out. I sat down on the ground. Old mother, she starts singing and some folks start gathering round. Oh, freedom. Oh, freedom. Oh, freedom over me. I taste that word upon my tongue. Free. Taste my good. I said it over and over again just because I knew I could. And then I take my apron off and walk back where I live. I put a few things in a bag. The rest I up and give. I say farewell and walk away and join that big parade. I never stop for water, I never stop for shade. By sunset, I have walked so far. I'm way across the land with nothing but my pot and bits of clothes I have in hand. The bruises, whips, and beatings, the chains wrapped round my mind. Those heavy things that burden me, I left them all behind. I feel as light as a feather. My heart sings in my chest with arms outstretched, head to the sky. I feel fully blessed. I walk on for a month or so. I thank each hill and tree. I bathe in cool and laughing streams. I can because I'm free. I make a new beginning. I make a brand new me. I breathe the air, I laugh out loud, I can because I'm free. Dear great, great, great granddaughter, oh please remember me and celebrate my journey at your Juneteenth Jubilee. I leave to you my story, I leave my legacy no man, no law can rob you of your destiny. For you shall raise your voice, child, stride forth for all to see, proclaim the everlasting truth that you are black and free. A peace written by DC playwright and friend, Colleen Sinet Jennings, specifically for me to share with you in remembrance, honor, and celebration of Juneteenth, 2020. I'm Felicia Curry.